vehicle is leaving the station. Please hold on. Please move to the center of the vehicle and away from the doors. Hey, welcome back to the NWG. Today we're going to talk about the Batman. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the Batman was actually delayed because its lead star, Robert Pattinson, he 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 got the beer bug. And we can't say the real word here on YouTube because they pull our videos, but he did get the beer bug and it was delayed. Let's talk about this. Variety reports the Batman is going back to work. Robert Pattinson has been cleared to don the cape and cowl again after his positive you-know-what test bought production on the comic book movie to a standstill. Filming at Levenston Studios outside of London was halted on September 3rd while Pattinson recuperated and cast and crew who were in close contact with the star also were quarantined. That is a big deal, not to make fun of it or light of it. Uh, if you get the thing... Uh, and you're working in close proximity on a movie set, it will absolutely shut down the set. And I don't know if you realize how expensive it is to make a movie, but when movie productions of this size get delayed, every day that goes by where nothing's happening costs money. So that's a big deal. Following the hiatus for the you-know-what quarantine precautions, filming has now resumed on The Batman in the UK, a spokesperson for Warner Brothers Pictures told Variety. Pattinson's positive test was the most high-profile example of the hazards of restarting production during the you-know-what, just as Hollywood is trying to find a safe way to roll cameras on movies and television shows during the you-know-what era. The Batman had itself only just returned to production on September 1st after shooting roughly 25% of the film from the start of the year before the industry-wide shutdown in March. The delay pushed the film's release from June to October 2021. Now, I'll tell you what else is interesting about this. The fact that only 25% of the movie was shot, I think we saw all 25% in the trailer. The trailer, to me, looked cool. It's kind of emo Batman, you know, kind of had the long hair and the, the eye shadow. And, you know, he could have been like the lead singer of The Cure. I don't know. But I will say... The fight scene in the trailer actually had me optimistic that this thing was going dark, a little bit violent, that gets the R rating. This could actually be a good thing. I'm not hating on this movie. While I'm definitely not a fan of the Twilight series, no problem if you were, I have no problem giving Robert Pattinson a shot at the Caped Crusader. Because honestly, if you're going to go back and do uh, not an origin story, but sometime early in the career, year one of Batman... You really do need a different character. I think Affleck is great as Batman, but he's the older Bruce Wayne. What we need from Pattinson is somebody who's one year in, two years in, just put together uh, this hot rotted vehicle. He's already got the suit. He's already working with the cops. So I don't know. I think this could be a really interesting film. I'm glad to see that everybody's healthy. Everybody got back to work and production has resumed. Good job. Now on the video game front, Hogwarts Legacy is a Harry Potter fan's wet dream, says LRM, this article. That's a pretty funny headline there. So confirmed for PlayStation 5 and maybe some other consoles, maybe Xbox Series X, I think. I don't know if this is going backwards to uh, PlayStation 4, but we'll see. This trailer just launched. Let's read a little bit from this article. This also from LRM, from Joseph Jammer Medina. Uh, he says, quote, it's been a long time coming. The Harry Potter franchise is decades old, and while it had its fair share of games, there is yet to be a full open-world experience. Continuing on, at the PlayStation 5 event, fans saw the first trailer of the game. We saw Hogwarts in the 1800s. This is perfect, he says, as it's a previously unexplored era. What you won't see, he says, is Dumbledore, probably, Voldemort, oh, excuse me, he who may not be named, or any other familiar faces, what you will see is familiar environments in a world that, you know, is is Harry Potter. So let's take a look at some of this trailer. Different professors. I have to admit, this looks pretty cool. So, so far, graphically, assuming this is using the in-game engine to render these scenes, looking pretty good. Okay. Oh, Oh, watch out. <laughs> All right. So 
this seems to be an open world game. You can explore anywhere you want to explore. Um, more likely than not, there'll be this thing will be littered with things to do, missions, putting you in dangerous situations. Uh, but if you don't want that, if you want to just hang around Hogwarts, hopefully you can just do that too. Is it multiplayer? I don't think so. Don't know. Oh, what's going on here? That looks awfully dark. The dragon. That dragon... It's like how the dragon heads on these things kind of quiver as the fire's coming out. All right, uh, what do you think? I think that's got some potential. So again, if they let you wander around the school grounds and just live in the universe, and every so often you feel like taking on a mission, I think they've got a real hit on their hands. If this is very sandboxed in and it makes you look like you can do whatever you want, but it forces you down these paths, Maybe not so much. We'll have to wait until we see uh, some in-hand uh, gameplay with this. Pretty cool. So that's all I've got for this episode of the No Wheat Geek. I thank you so much for your support. This channel is brand new. And really, the best thing that you can do if you want to support me and this channel, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, turn on notifications, and every time I release a new video or live stream, you'll be notified and you can join in on the fun. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you back here again real soon. This vehicle is leaving the station. Please hold on. Please move to the center of the vehicle and away from the doors.